So I wanted to share with you the best way that we have seen students succeed in getting a really, really great start. And that is by having a lesson two times a week for the first two to three months. Now, I like to unpack this as just a reminder that when you're starting something new, it's hard. <laughs> well, we're just gonna say it, it's hard. It's challenging, it's different, it can be a little bit scary, right? Because it's an unknown area. Whenever you're starting something that's unknown and new, it's really helpful to make sure that you have the resources and the support along the way to get you to wherever your goal is. So if your goal is, I wanna be able to play my instrument and play a few songs on it that I like, it's gonna take some work to get to that goal. Even though it may not seem like a big dramatic goal, it's still gonna take some work. So when we're learning something new, we often don't know what we don't know, right? You've, you've done that, this has happened to you, where you've, you've learned something, maybe you're starting, maybe your child is considering starting the guitar or the ukulele um, or adding voice in to their lesson regimen. And when you start something new, you're not really quite even sure what questions to ask. And so that's why it is really, really helpful if you can have a lesson twice a week, because it puts a, a momentum building and it puts some progression happening on the front end of your lessons rather than saying we're gonna wait 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 and now we're gonna progress well the problem is is if you wait to a certain point you might have lost interest in this interim period so sometimes we do get um, questions from students who have taken lessons at another studio or maybe they've moved from, away from their where their old teacher was and they'll say, yeah, you know, we, we took lessons, but we just haven't gotten into a really good routine. And now it seems like they've forgotten everything they had. And, and I just don't know what to do. I don't know if they're just not musical. That's not the case. They, everyone is musical. Everyone is definitely musical. But they probably just didn't have the running start that they really needed for it to get solidified. And just like you, if you were to go to the gym, you know, and work out on the treadmill for, or the stair stepper, that's the thing that I am not a huge fan of. If you were to get on the stair stepper for once a month, you probably won't see a whole lot of progress and you're probably not gonna be motivated to go back. So what, what if you did go and um, the second time you couldn't rem like I'm the stair stepper, the elliptical is not a good illustration, but if you went and tried some other different machine and you're like, I don't really quite remember how to work this, that's where the trainer comes in, right? And says, hey, well, this is how you could do that. This is this is what you, this is the lever you pull, these are the weights that you put in, and this is the amount that you need for your level. They're just guiding you along the process until you feel comfortable going to that machine on your own to do the workout. So that's why two lessons a week for the first couple of months can be really, really helpful because you have a follow-up lesson. So I encourage parents who are starting lessons in the summer, whether you're an adult student or you're starting your child, it is definitely helpful if you can figure it out with your schedule to do two times a week. And they can even be back to back. It doesn't necessarily have to be spread out. Um, I myself, as the director of New Song Music Academy, I feel it's really important for me to be learning. So I take lessons every single semester in some capacity. Um, it could be a very specific thing in piano, or it could be guitar or voice or an instrument that, I, that isn't my primary instrument. And I can tell you, because I believe I'm musical and I believe to be, you know, able to understand things at a decent level, right? Um, <laughs> I can still go to a lesson and not remember hardly anything that was said. <laughs> if it's like a high, higher level concept or if it's something completely new, I, I have a general understanding and I'm soaking it in during the lesson. But then when I go back to practice it, I'm like, how was the way that they broke down those modes again? Was it was it using the Lydian mode or the Locrian mode? Or, or am I getting that? And I just start to realize like, oh, I don't, I don't even remember what questions I should be asking. So at the very least, even if you do not schedule two lessons a week when you're first starting out on whatever instrument it is, maybe you're adding an instrument, maybe you're adding like voice to the mix or something, you could at least schedule a time in your calendar as though you were going to pay an instructor to come to your house and teach you. So that way it's, it's set, you were going to the instrument and I probably would bet you that you're gonna go to the instrument, let's just say you're going to the piano and you're gonna, that child or, or you as an adult, you're gonna go to the piano, you're gonna feel, 
I don't, I don't like this. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I, this is hard. That is a normal response because again, you don't know what you don't know. You don't know what questions to ask. You're, you're not even sure how to define what is really, really hard about it. You, maybe you can't even express that. But if you can at least go to the piano, at least go to your guitar on the second day, the scheduled day, right? Where the instructor isn't coming, but you're imagining that this is a, a real lesson that's happening. You could go and you could say, when your teacher does come the following week, when I went to the piano, I really could not play hands together. When I went to the piano, this chord thing that you get, mm -mm, it's not happening. I just can't do it. It's, it's really, really challenging. At least the instructor will say, oh, okay, that's really normal. This is how we can work on that. Let's do this. So it's, it's helpful for the instructor to have that feedback and for you to know, okay, now, now I'm getting the support. Another thing that you can do um, with us at New Song Music Academy is if you take a lesson, let's say on a Monday, and you have the scheduled practice time set for Thursday at 4.30, and you decide, I don't even know what the chord is. <laughs> what is this thing that they wrote? They wrote chord. I don't even quite know what this means. You can just text your teacher or you can send an email to hello at newsongmusicacademy.com and say, I don't know what the chord is. What does that mean? And someone will get back to you at least within 48 hours. So at least you don't have to wait until the following Monday. You might even get a response within the hour. And that way you're like, oh, oh yeah, I do remember. I remember what the chord was. It was C, E, and G all together. So we definitely want all of our students to feel supported throughout their time taking lessons, but you also have to put in the time, right? And you've got to put in the investment of the energy and scheduling that time out so that you can figure out what are those questions, what are those hard points. Um, it's also exciting and encouraging for our instructors to, to see you build momentum, to see you being successful at the songs that you want to play. Um, as equally as it is for you. We, we want to see that excitement. We want to help that snowman to really, really build and build. So that's where two lessons a week is really helpful because you've got that guided practice. You've got that additional support that's not going to wait an entire week or two weeks sometimes. So sometimes we go two weeks in between lessons right during the summer when people are in and out of vacation. And then by then you've really forgotten, right? Now you might say, so should we just not sign up for lessons at all? No, that's that's not necessarily the case. But just if you're wanting to ask, what is the best start that I can get? The best start is to have a guided support along the way. So just something to be mindful of and be thinking about. If you have any questions, feel free to reply to this email. And otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of your week.